Hi, this is Jimmy from The Productive Engineer. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to embed code blocks inside of Notion. So Notion is a great repository for a lot of um, content. And one of the things you can do, especially if you're a developer, is you can store code snippets that you frequently use in libraries um, inside of Notion. And I'm going to show you how to do that in today's video. So stay tuned. Before we get started with the video, um, if you like this video, please click the like button as it really helps out my channel. If you are interested in learning more about various productivity apps like Notion, Evernote, Todoist, um, Google Docs, etc., um, you really should subscribe to my channel because that's basically what this entire channel is about. Helping you become more productive, um, whether it's using apps or just in general how to be more productive. And if you um, Want to be notified when I release new videos? Please click the uh, bell. Thanks. Okay, so let's get started. So as you can see here on my uh, page, I actually set up a programming languages page in Notion, and I'm going to show you a couple of examples of code um, snip um, code blocks in Notion. Excuse me. So if you look in here, like at the code snippet section, you can actually see what a code snippet is. I have one, a quick one down here, where it's basically some Ruby code that. I cut and pasted in. Um, the key things with these code blocks are um, there's really two values to them. One is that it retains, it understands the the code enough to color code it effectively. So you'll see like assignment operators here, and you'll see strings and arrays that are you know where you can actually see the color coding of the values. You can also see the comments here in the comment section here, so you can see how it actually you know browns it out here so you know that it's a comment. Other thing you could do is, let's say I had this code, I was writing some code and I wanted to, for whatever reason, use this snippet in an, an application I was writing. I can simply come here and click copy the clipboard and then paste it into whatever code editor I'm using. So if you're a developer, it's really valuable a lot of times to save code that you reuse often. So that way you can just re-leverage it in different ways in your new, newer applications that you're developing. and Notion is really great at storing things, and it just makes sense to leverage Notion for this. So I'm going to show you how to use a code block. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to come down a couple of things here. I'm going to type slash and type typing the word code. And you can see here, it'll say under media code, this is the one I want. Don't choose the code pen option. The code pen option actually will embed a code pen object inside of your page and that's not what you want to do here so i'm going to click on code and as you can see it creates a code block here it's defaulted to java but i'm going to paste in some ruby code here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on the drop down and as you can see there's a ton of languages and data formats that are supported here whether it's html objective c swift java javascript or JSON and XML from a data structure perspective. So there is no shortage of um, options here. I'm going to choose Ruby because I'm pasting Ruby in. And then I'm just going to, I've copied my code and I'm going to come in here and paste it. And as you can see, it pastes it in, it understands it, you know, the operators, it understands those comments, it understands, you know, the conditional statements. So it really is a cool way to capture what you're doing here and create a code repository. As you become a more experienced developer, you'll have more and more of these code snippets and you'll be able to sort of leverage them over and over again. So I hope this short tutorial was helpful. If you like this video, please click the like button as it helps out the channel. If you want to see more of my videos, please click the subscribe button. Cause again, this channel is all about how helping you use applications to be more productive. And if you want to be notified when I release new videos, please click the bell. Thank you.